If I can speak English, I can make friends all over the world. My heart is really in Asia, and uh, I really love uh, Chinese students, and I'm actually studying Chinese at university. So I was caught between, you know, this God whom I'm attracted to, but this, this religion that I'm born in. So what should I do? I'm non-religious, and I haven't learned about Christianity before I came here, so it's very interesting for me. My name is Lucas. I'm originally from China. My name is Shweta Shah, and I'm originally from Mumbai, India. My name is Michael. I go to Oklahoma State, but I'm originally from Austin, Texas. I'm Mana, Mana Ando, and I'm from Japan. And one of my friends, he went to the conference last time. He said it's really worthful and meaningful, and uh, it will change my life. Vision is a lot of fun. I think it's like a, it's like a banquet. You take a plate and you put foods of different kinds, and you and you make your plate. Vision is like that because it's got fun. It's got spiritual content. You know, they choose really great locations. Um, so you can tour the city and you can go out. So I really like uh, Washington DC. I saw in a textbook when I was a junior high school student. So I really wanted to go there. It's just been great to show them around. Now I've met students from all over the world, from uh, places like in the Middle East, Asia, everywhere. I never seen like there's a lot of international students like in one place. I'm feeling like it's very easy to talk with people in here. I think it's very changed me. For somebody who is seeking God, this type of a conference is really good. This was like one of the first times they'd gotten to eat real Indian food in a really long time. You know, a lot of times you don't think of how homesick they really could be coming here and studying for like two or three years and not getting to go home. But I grew up in a Hindu family. We were taught how to pray. We were taught how to worship God. I did not have any relationship with God. It was more of a checklist kind of a routine. But then when I came into college, uh, my friend shared about Jesus with me. Before I came to the United States, I know nothing about Christianity. Being curious is a very important for a person to study abroad because you have to explore everything. I learned it is knowable and it's a very new idea for me because when I think about God, I'm thinking like He's almighty so it's very far from me. So when I think He's a knowable person, it's more like He's very reachable. In the temple, you go, you worship this idol, you say certain prayers, you perform certain rituals and you're done. But here I am in the church and these people are raising their hands so I knew that this is different. They know they are God and they have a relationship with Him and I wanted that. The first day we learned a song in Swahili, like a Christian song in Swahili, and then we learned one in Spanish and uh, today we got to just kind of uh, praise and worship the Lord, which is really awesome, in, uh, in English. I met a lot of friends for a lot of background. I haven't met such a friend in Japan so often. This experience I never had in, in China. I love international students and that's just grown so much more from this conference, getting to meet so many international students from all over the world. And we talked so much about the root of sin and um, how Jesus provides freedom. And His blood is so pure that it can wipe the sins of everyone. Once I see some Chinese believers and they are so willing to uh, worship the God, then I don't consider Christianity as an American thing or Western thing. I consider it as a, a global thing. 